Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. This is part 9 of how to build a job board using Django and Vue. In the previous part we made it possible to get notifications when we got a new message or when someone applied for your job. In this part I'm going to add more information to the different jobs. We need some information about the location, job type and similar. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go into VS Code and open up the models file for the job. Here below the long description I want to add company name. This can be a char field, I can just copy this. And then I want a company address. Can also be the same, but this can be blank equals true, null equals true if you don't want to fill it out. I can copy this for zip code and I can copy it for place and country and I also want to have a field for the company size and I want this to be a selectable list so up here I need to add some few variables size 1 to 9 equals size 1 to 9 then I can copy this I need 4 of this 10 to 49, 50 to 99, and 100 and above. 10 to 49, 50 to 99, and 100 and above. And then I need to make a tuple to make it possible to select between of this. So choices size equals size 1 to 9, and then a label. 1-9 and I can just copy this copy and replace all of these 100 plus 50 to 99 and 10 to 49 and then I need to push ball and then I need to add this below here so I can use company size equals models dot char field max length can be 20 because these are very short it's this information that will be saved into this choices equals choices size default can just be size 1 to 9 and si default can just be size 1 to 9 and save so I'm not going to spend too much time adding more fields you can do this yourself if you want to. You can add things like uh, it's a remote friendly, salary and similar. So now that I have the new fields in the models, I can go to the command line and update the database. Python manage.py make migrations. Okay, I need to add a default value here. Just select one. Default name. This is just for the jobs I already have added in the database. Python manage.py migrate. So now the model is updated and I can run the server again. So we have it in the background. Next step now is to go into forms.py. Inside here I have the add job form. And here I want to add the new fields. Company name company address company zip code company place and company country and company size and save but I also need to go into add the job and add them here manually I can add these below the long description so if I just copy the title Replace title with company name, also here, company name, and id underscore company name. And I can replace, no copy, and add address, address, and the address, below here the zip code, company zip code zip code and then the place 
place and place and I also need the country and below here the last thing I need is the size company size this is not the input field like this this is a select field div class select select name company size option value set this to empty choose size copy this and add the four values from the models.py so here I can copy this paste it one to nine and then 10 to 49 50 to 99 and 100 plus and save so the fields are added automatically here in the back in the back end yes so i don't have to do anything more here so what I want to do now is to add some validation to this form using Vue.js. So first I can open up base.html to include Vue.js. Just add a comment, scripts, script src, https, colon slash slash, npkg.com, view at next. This is view 3. Below here, I want to add a new template tag, block, scripts, so I can use this on the sub pages, and block, and save. So if I just copy this now, go into add job, and below this block, I can add this. And then I add a script tag here, script. And then I need to create a new view app. Const add job app equals dictionary or a list data return. And I want to validate the title field. I want to validate the company name. I want to validate the short description. And I want to validate the company size. So I just set all of these to empty for now. Since Django and Vue uses similar syntax, you need to set different delimiters for Vue. Delimiters, and then I just add two of these square brackets instead of curly brackets for Vue. Then below here, I call Vue.createApp add job app dot mount dash no hashtag add job app and then I just need to add this up in the template to create a new div here div id so I can wrap the whole page in this div go to the bottom and close the div tag and save so now I can just go here, go to, okay, before I continue, I can just create the add job button here, dashboard, and here below this title, I say ahrf URL add job, add job. I can add a class, so it's a button, is success refresh so if I click this I will be sent to the add job and I have all of the new fields here perfect just want to inspect to see that I don't have any errors from the view everything seems to be okay so the next step now is to connect these values to the input fields so the title I want to add V model title the short description, the V model short description, 
and the company name in the vmodel company name and the same with select for the size vmodel company size and then when we submit this form I want to call a function but to prevent it from sending to the back end at one at the beginning I need to add something up here so here I say v on submit.prevent so when we submit we want to prevent it from actually submitting validate form so I call this function or method and this I need to create down inside the view so below here I add a new list called methods and define the new function okay and here I will need to create a new variable called errors this dot errors equals empty list and I need to define it up here it just be empty by default and then here I check if the title is empty if this dot title equals empty this dot errors dot push the title field is missing I can do the same with the three others short description and the company name and the company size and at the bottom here I need to check if there are any errors if this.errors then I can just say return false and the form won't be submitted to the back end before I continue I just want to say thanks to my patreons if you too want to support me you will find a link to my patreon in the description below then the last step we need now before we can test this is to loop through this list so at the top of the form below these errors I can say div class notification is danger v if errors dot length so this will only show if there are any errors and if there are I want to loop through them by saying p v4 error in errors okay typo and in here I use the square brackets and say error and save so if I refresh now I still don't get any errors if I try to submit now I get these four errors up here perfect if I fill in the title job title short description if I try to submit again now go up I see only the company name and the company size is missing the company name select the size 1 to 9 and submit okay I found a little bug in the code in here I removed the two parentheses and I only need to use v on submit and I did some smaller changes below here inside the validate form function I add an e here so I can get the events and at the bottom here I check if this is errors that has length and if so I run e prevent default for preventing the form to submit and I return false if there are no errors I can just return true and the form will be submitted so if I go here again now refresh the job title the short description if I go down now try to submit I'll get these two errors company field is missing and company size is missing the company name and the company size one no 55 to 99 and submit and now it was submitted perfect so the next step now is to just show a little bit more information in the in the jobs so this here is the view job inside the dashboard or the user profile so here I just show the title as you can see here but I can copy the content from up here job detail these two 
paste them here, save and refresh and here I got the job description. Below here I can add the company information, the company name, job.company name, break line, refresh and now it will show here. You can do the same with the other fields, company address, company zip code, company place, company country, and company size, and save. So you can see here, I get this value, which is the one you get up in this here, but we want this instead. To get that, we can go back here and say get company display. This is a built-in functionality from Django. So now I get 50-99 instead. Perfect. And I want to show these details in the view job as well, where the job seekers see them. Save. And if I now go to the front page, I see that on the front page I have wrong order for the jobs. So I just want to fix this. So core order by minus created at save and refresh. And now I have the newest job here. If I click it, I also get the information here. But instead of saying none there, I can do a check to see if the company information is available. If job dot company address I copy this for the other as well zip code place and country and I need to close the and if here save and refresh so that looks much better and that was it for this part of the series. If you liked it, please click like below and share it with your friends. If you want notification when the next part is published, you need to subscribe and remember to click the bell as well. See you next time.